So here's a video that we're going to be showing about the, the zippy uh, joystick. We've been having problems with our four-way, eight-way function. As you can see, this guy's already been trimmed out. We have a little slide here for the Galaga, which is usually just left and right, and the Galaxy, it also uses that. This circle here is the eight-way. So as you can see, that there's a, the four-way is actually snipped out of this area here. I'm going to show you on a new joystick that we get to kind of get an idea. Sometimes you get these faulty ones. We've been getting them pretty darn often and the manufacturer really doesn't do much of a good, good deal on uh, trying to make good on fixing this. But these little slots here, for some reason, they don't line up. Or there's, there isn't enough uh, room here for the joystick. Uh, with, with a little movement from the left and right, there's not enough traveling in there. I'll show you how that works here. Put it over the top. And you go left and right, you can hear it not click. You go left, not right. Well, there you go. you got to push it really freaking hard. And again, it's not even screwed down, so the whole plate's actually moving just a little bit. But anyway, that's, that's one of the issues that we have. That, oh, there you go. It's not working again. If I hold it down really good, it doesn't really work. So anyway, I'm going to take this guy out and show you how we do make it work. What we usually do is we take some scissors like this and we take this guy following the inside of the there's this little these little wings here and what we do is we, we take it from the inside here and we snap the piece of plastic as you can see this see how it goes there we snap it right there so this little flap comes up and what we do is turn it around and do the other side. As we hold on to this guy here, we uh, we snap it. That way it doesn't fly away like 10 feet away or across the room. All right, so that's this is what we what we've been having to find find ourselves having to do every time. So we snap these guys off again, going back down to th these guys. You can see that we have a, a ton of these guys because we have to snip off the little four way to make this this zippy joystick a four-way. So what we do is we put it on here, we screw it in, and do this real quick. We're going to do a test. If we go left, you can hear it. If we go right, obviously it's going to go way past because the thing's cut out. And even then, sometimes you can even see the little, just the small gap it has here. It just barely has any room before it clicks. It's still not clicking. It, it clicks at the last moment. This is why we have premature failure failure at times. So what we're gonna do is remove it again and flip it so you can see what the other other side looks like. And again, this is really painstaking, especially if you're manufacturing like we are. And they go back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out why the heck this isn't uh, working. This is like we could have put a lot of things together by the time we figure out how to make our joysticks work, which really blows. So again, we just put it again, we flipped it around. Now we're gonna see how, how far our joystick is between the, the joystick and the wall before it hits, before you hear the clicking sound. Now you hear it a little bit quicker before the other side, so we're gonna leave it this way. And again, one of the things is that if you have, uh, that we've learned is, if this doesn't work, the four way, four-way slot, what you can do is just remove it entirely. I'll show you what to do here. Some customers say, you know what, even though you guys did this, it still is not working. What you can do is take these guys off, take the little plate, take a drill, a little drill bit, slide it in here. I'll show you like this, there you go. Slide it in there and just give it a, just drill it out a little bit, give yourself a little bit of room. All this is doing is just buying us a little bit of, <laughs> maybe a millimeter, a centimeter, I should say, of uh, extra clicking room. So by doing that, again, we, re we replace it, put it all back down. And if you like, you could also snip out both sides. You, you can do both sides and just have these guys as a restrictor. As long as you have these little corners, you're good. That, that's, what it, that's what allows your, your joystick to still have that four-way movement. Um, again, this is the cheaper models, but they're they're uh, they're not bad. A lot of people use them. We use them a lot, uh, unless otherwise asked. So, 
Anyway, so there's this guy. It's now working very well. Every click, and obviously it's going to go this way because it has nothing to hold it back. So that's kind of cool. So it has up, down, left, right. It's all around clicking. Mm -hmm. So there, there's that. And again, it's a z the zippy joystick. We've been having issues with this guy, and well, that's the, that's our fix. So if you have any problems, you just all you got to do is just take a little restrictor plate off, and you can also completely take it away. You don't have to leave anything on there. You just leave it as eight way and and, and just uh, have at it that way. So. Hope that helps you guys out. Thanks.